Hello, hello, my friends. Give me just a minute and let me get everything set up on my computer so I can see your comments. All right. Hello and welcome. If you don't know me, my name is Sarah. I am the owner of Tenderfoot Village. Uh, I'm really excited to share this gnome with you guys. I'm not going to dance all around. I'd like to just kind of get into it. Hello, Tanya. Hello, Elvira. Hello, Deanna. So first off, though, real quick, I do want to show you. So this is the girl we're going to be making. Hold on. Let me swipe off my comments on my video so I can make sure that I see you guys. So this is Betty the Batgirl. <clears throat> she was a lot of fun to create. She is um, simple items. Most of us have already been using them that have made gnomes um, in the past. Uh, I think you guys are going to like the twist that I have added to her. Also, I, um, if you know me, you know I like to make a couple uh, just to kind of get myself comfortable with teaching you guys. So um, I made this little uh, devilish girl. So same concept, just went red. Um, and I think she turned out really, really cute as well. Um, anyway, so, okay. Hello, hello, everyone. Um, this is my first Facebook Live like on my page in a very long time. So I'm really excited, a little bit nervous, but I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Okay, so um, the supply list is in the description and I'll do my best to make sure that I tell you all my supplies. If you're curious about something, just ask me. So everything that I'm using pretty much is Dollar Tree. If it's not, I will clarify where I got it from. <clears throat> hello, hello. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take, this is a men's, uh, crew sock, I believe. I've called them tube socks in the past and I am wrong. They are crew socks. This is the um, larger size, I think probably the largest size. So I'm just going to cut at the heel straight across. So um, one of the things that I told my um, groups is, my little private groups, is that this is a new twist on an old gnome. So I'm kind of going back to my original idea of a gnome. So think sock gnome, okay? So the way that this is different is I'm going to be using a styrofoam ball and it'll make sense here in just a minute. So this one is a 3.8 inch 3.8 inch ball, okay? Uh, I got these at Walmart and they come in a two pack for $2.97. They also have them already cut in half for 97 cents, which is a phenomenal deal. Okay, so I went ahead and cut it in half, and I, I'm doing, I did a little bit of some prep work just to kind of cut down on time. So once I've cut it in half, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it on the table and roll it around. The reason that I'm doing this is when you cut it in half, it's kind of flared out a little bit. You can see it on this edge, and what I'm trying to create is a more straighted edge. So I'm going from that flared out uh, shape to the straighted shape. And the purpose of this is when we put it inside the sock, it's not going to stand out that there's a separate shape or a separate item in there. So it'll, it'll all look cohesive together. Okay, so I've rounded it off. Now I'm going to take it and I'm just going to open my sock up real wide and I'm going to pop it in there. And I'm just going to push it down until it's on that little uh, toe line. does not matter. We're not going to see that. I just want the sock kind of straight. Okay? So once we have that, and my sock is not straight, so give me just a second while I OCD it for a second. Okay, that's straight enough for me. Okay, so... Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some polyfill. Um, this is probably more than enough, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough. So I'm going to take some polyfill and I'm going to stuff it. And I'm going to stuff it. You kind of have to fill this out. There's no like how much polyfill exact measurement kind of thing. It's, it's kind of shaping it. You have to kind of feel it out if that makes sense. So I have her stuffed. And now what I'm doing is kind of squishing it around. And I don't think I have quite enough, but I have some more over here just in case. 
So I personally like the really full look. You could stop here and create kind of a smaller shape. This is actually with a little bit smaller um, half of a, a styrofoam ball as well. Give me just a second while I grab a little bit more polyfill. Okay. And you guys, I am just not happy. Hold on just a second. This is driving me crazy. I want this to be straight. Okay, I'm much happier now. Okay, so I'm just going to stuff it pretty good. It's fairly firm. It's not really flimsy and floppy, which is what I'm going for. Once I get the, the polyfill stuffed in there, I'm going to grab some hair ties, those little elastic ties. And I'm one of these people that I like a few of them. And one of the things that I told in my groups is, for me, I'm really hard on hair ties. So one hair tie, I pop it. But if I grab a little handful of about three, I can hang on to them and be a little rougher with them a little bit more. So, okay. And I apologize for my sniffling. We, it's allergy season in, in full force here. And so, yes, I'm, I'm dealing with that. All right, so there's the, the base, there's what we're starting with. And now I'm gonna grab my outer socks. So these are Dollar Tree sparkly socks and they come in red, black, and blue that I've seen. That's all I've seen so far. And I'm gonna cut off the little extra plastic bits that hung on. So I'm going to set this one aside. I want to save it for later. That's going to be our hat. But this first one, I'm just going to do that same old thing that we did before and cover that white sock with that black sock. <clears throat> I am now going to grab a couple more of those elastic ties and tie them up. Tanya asks, do we think that a three inch will work? Yes, Tanya, if you're referring to the styrofoam ball, a three inch will work. I believe the one I'm using is 3.8 inches, but it's just gonna make your, um, your shape of your body a little bit more, a little bit smaller. So um, it'll just be a smaller gnome. It's not gonna mess anything up. I think it'll work great. Just make sure you remember to round it off. That's very important because it kind of helps things um, look cohesive, I guess. I get rid of that. Oh, okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of this string. And because we know that the elastics wear down it after a while, so I'm just going to kind of hang on and I'm going to wrap it around a few times. And I'm just kind of wrapping it tight. Okay, I'm going to cut off my excess, put that over. I'm, I'm just going to do like a basic little tie knot thing. Nobody's going to see this. This is really just for extra security. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. I'm going to cut off a little bit of those ends just in case they hang down later on. Okay, so now we are going to work on a couple other parts of her body. Um, I think first we will work on, you know what? Let's talk about the headband real quick. So if you haven't done so already and you're kind of following along, one of the things I want you to go ahead and work on is go ahead and take your headband from Dollar Tree apart. This is where this came from. They also have the, the devil girl that you saw. They also have the, um, the little cat and a few other ones. So um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can cut this with scissors. This material is very easy to, to get off. You can um, use your heat gun and remove the glue that way. Um, but just take all those pieces off because we're going to want those. The other thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to start on, on wrapping the arms. And I went ahead and wrapped one just to kind of be uh, a little bit to, to help things move along. But let me find my sock. Okay. So the socks that I'm using for the Batgirl are from Target, Dollar Spot, and they are a dollar. So another very affordable item. 
you will make if you choose to make these you can get you can make two girls out of one pair of socks so it's very very cost effective very affordable so the first thing that I did was I unfolded my socks and I just cut a line right down the middle and then for me I'm, I cut off this top part I don't need that top part so once you've cut it down the middle you're going to take one of your pieces and you're going to unfold it. So it's folded in half, you're going to unfold it. And what I like to do is, let me grab, so some of the other things we're going to need are a six inch dowel rod. And then these are foam curlers from the Dollar Tree, but I know that you can probably find them at CVS, Walmart. I've seen these in lots and lots of places. Hair supply, it's like Sally's Beauty Supply will carry these. Um, Thank you for the sprinkles. Um, so anyway, th we, these are the ones we're using for this particular tutorial. Um, so what I'm going to do is remove that plastic insert and just throw it away. I don't, I don't need it. And then I'm going to start setting up my legs. So the, the dowel is going to be used on our leg. So I'm going to take my foam roller and I'm just kind of twisting and sliding. You can slide on these with the longer ones. You need to be a little bit more careful if you're going with these instead, because if you just jab it straight down in there, it, it can tear it. So that'd be my suggestion on that. All right. So I'm putting two on here and I'm pushing them right together. I want them right up against each other. Okay. Then I'm going to take my, uh, roller and real this is a real easy way to do this and one of the things that I've found that I really like about this is because of the um, material of this foam roller it really grabs onto this this material of this sock so I've found that I don't have to pre-glue that first side to grab like I do normally with um, the bendy hair rollers so the first thing, oh, uh, also make note that um, you want to have a little extra sticking out on both ends, a little more on one than the other. Um, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this straight up against pretty much the edge of the material. And I'm going to grab a hold of it with my thumbs and I'm tightly rolling it. So I'm applying some pretty decent pressure, also making sure that I keep that foam roller together. So. Let me back up and show that again. <clears throat> so smashing it, rolling it. And then once I get to that end, I'm going to hold this down and I'm going to do a little at a time. Actually, you know what? I forgot to cut it. So let me back up. So I, I kind of use it to measure and I see it's on this black line. I'm not going to go all the way up to the end because I know some of that's going to go in inside of the material, but I do want to leave a little overhang. So I'm just cutting that off again. So smash and roll. And one of the keys, if you're using stripey socks is you guys, you want to kind of line up your socks. I'm sorry. You want to line up the lines. So I'm trying to make note since I can see through the back where my lines are, are hitting. And now I'm just going to like run a strip of hot glue and I've got mine on the low setting and I'm going to go from one end of the foam to the other. Okay. Once I do that, I'm going to continue to press and roll. Okay. Now, if you prefer, Another way that you can do this is you can sew it or you can do some of the other ways that I've, you've seen me do it. I'm just doing this to show you guys that there is a simple way. And I have a little bit of uh, messy hot glue, right? But you know what? That's not a big deal because I'm going to take my, hold on just a second, I dropped my other sock, another piece. I'm going to take my um, heat gun and I'm going to like just apply a little bit of that to this spot and it'll make it go away. So no big deal. All right. Okay. So we have our, our leg done and now we're going to do our arm. 
same concept. And I'm this time around, so the only thing that I can tell you that's a little different than the leg is I do want to leave a little overhang because I like to kind of pull my sleeves. You can't see that. I like to kind of have my sleeves overhanging the ball a little bit to cover up that plastic piece and any of that foam hair roller. So a little overhang and then I'm, I'm going to not apply the hot glue and see how that works. I'm taking a big risk here. I like it so far. Let's see if I can make it happen with the glue. Okay. So again, I'm starting at the one end of the hot roller, of the hair roller, and I'm going to go all the way down to the other end of the hair roller. And carefully, making sure my lines are matching up, I'm going to roll it over. And that's great. It worked out great. Okay, so now I'm going to actually add my little bead that I want on my hand. So I get my beads at Hobby Lobby. They're just little plain wooden beads. And you can get these or you can get the ones with the hole in them to hold things. I like to go back and forth between the two. So I'm just applying a little dot of hot glue and I'm going to mash it right up against that plastic piece right there. And then I'm just going to kind of pull the fabric down around that and I can I can tweak this a little bit more later if I choose. So I'm going to set those aside um, and the next thing that I'm going to work on is I think we should work on the shoes. So to do the shoes I like these um, these baby booties. They're baby shower booties from the Dollar Tree and I like to take a hex nut or a nut and glue it inside of the shoe and this I do this for weight I think it, it helps hold your your doll up a little bit and I'm just gonna the cool thing about this one is I can just drop it right down in and it goes right where I want it if you get them too small then they tend to, you have to kind of move them around and then you have to try and line up that dowel rod and it can be a mess and then your doll might be leaning or something. But the bigger ones that fit right in there seem to work really well. Okay, so what we're going for is this. So we're going to wrap our baby shoe with a piece of felt and I'm going to use glitter felt and then we're going to go through this process together of cutting it. So I'm going to take my strip of fabric or felt and I'm going to apply a little strip of hot glue to the back right here and then what I like to do is I like to line it up with the bottom of the material and I leave a little bit of an overhang just to make sure that that material is covered whenever she's standing and you won't see her and then once that's set, which it doesn't take but a minute, I like to apply a little bit more hot glue running in a strip. I don't try to do it all at once. I, I have done it in the past and you end up covered in hot glue and burns and blisters. So, <laughs> um, All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to continue doing that till I get all the way around. So just a little at a time. I'm just doing a strip and you don't have to be right up on the edge of the plastic and I just love to roll it because it gives me uh, stability. My hands, I drink a lot of coffee and my hands tend to be a little shaky sometimes. Uh, Elvira asked where can we find the glitter felt? Um, Elvira, that I get at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I love to do it when they put it on sale because it goes from 99 cents or 77 cents to 50% off. Okay, so one key thing to take into to consideration on the shoe is, guys, you don't want to go way up over the shoe. So don't glue all the way up. We need it to be open for now. We will in a minute, but for right now, we need it to be open. Okay, and then um, 
Missy asked, what size are the balls? The I'm assuming you're talking about for the hands. And I do not have that bag on me right now, but I can add that for you later. I can tell you what size that is. So if you'll bear with me until the end of the video, I will, I will get that info for you. Okay, so once we have it wrapped, we are going to take and pinch together. So I use my first finger or second finger, but I burn my first finger. So I take and I pinch it, and I just make sure that that material is even at the top, and then I'm gonna cut at an angle, okay? So just on, I mean, I'm using my fingers as a guide to know where to cut. So I'm gonna cut down at an angle, okay? And then once I've done that, now I have this little mouth, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut straight down at the very edge of that piece. So I cut straight down and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this other side, straight down, okay? Uh, I also have a pattern for this. If you guys don't want to cut this out, you can find the pattern over at tenderfootvillage.com um, if you need the pattern. And there's a tutorial that shows you how as well. There's also a full witch um, pattern and tutorial that'll include this pattern. Okay, so once we have that cut, we are not gonna, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna finish off our shoe yet because we need to make sure that our uh, legs are in there. And the reason is because we're gonna kind of build the shoe around the leg. This is very important for this, the, the style that we're going for on this, this gnome. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, in that middle, right inside the nut, I'm just gonna squeeze a good glob of hot glue. in both of them, okay? All right. Okay, so now I'm just kind of examining my legs to see what I like. I'm going to take and stick it straight down in there, and then I'm gonna kind of gently take my finger and just help the material if it's not going into that plastic of the shoe I'm just going to kind of help it get in there. That's I want it kind of tucked in and not overhanging. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other leg. Just tucking that around. Now we have our two legs. Okay, so the very next step we're going to do is we're going to apply a strip and a line of hot glue. And what I mean, let me grab one of these so I can show you. So right down in here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply a strip of hot glue and the line of hot glue is gonna come right up the, oops, sorry, right up the front, right here, one line. So one strip across and then one line right up. And then what I do is I pinch and push and then make sure this is pinched together as well. And remember, don't worry if you get some that pours out and it shows, you can just take your, your, um, your heat gun or your hair dryer and warm it up and it will go right away. So there's that. We're going to do the same thing again with the other shoe. So a strip across and a line right up the side right up the front and then pinch okay now is the time where we can finish off our boot so you can glue off the back right here now if you want to fold it down you can and then create kind of more the witch's um, shoe but I really I'm, I'm really enjoying the shape of these these boots Hold on guys, my comments got away from me. All right. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and I'm just applying a little line back there and finishing it off. <laughs> I 
All right, so those are ready and we can set them aside. Now I'm not gonna take, I keep wanting to grab my finished girl. Um, okay, so now we're ready to work on our, on our bottom of our girl. So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to take and look at, I wanna look at my body and see what side I like. And I believe I like this side. So I'm going to kind of eyeball, if you guys can see this, let me get a little closer. So what I like to do, so you can see with this girl, I try to leave a little bit of space. I would say it's probably a, a tight two finger space between her legs, okay? And I have to start with one side. So I'm not going really close to the middle. I want to be off a little bit and I'm just going to kind of let that guide me. So I'm just, I know I'm not trying to poke through because we're not going to be able to. We're just starting a hole for, for us to have something to work with. So I can see that that's right there. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm, I know where that hole is. So I'm just going to snip a little bit and that'll create my little hole perfectly. And then I still have that white sock that I need to um, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to try and fight with it. I'm just going to kind of grab it and snip just a little. We don't need anything big or crazy. Okay. And then, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take this one and push it in. Just to kind of give me something to work with. Okay, there's our first leg. Let me look at her for a minute. And you can see we have this excess and we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and trim off a little bit of that. And then if there's still more left, I'm just gonna tuck it up inside of that material. Just remember not to pull really hard because we haven't glued here yet. So if you pull really hard, that you'll um, open the hole too much before we, we can get it secured. Okay, so I like, I like that. Now, let me see. Bear with me a minute while I decide how. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and just feel and apply the other leg. This is kind of hard to show. Let's see. So I'm making another hole, just like we did on the first one. And then I'm gonna take, make sure I know where it is, and snip. Uh, Barbara asked me if the video will be available later. Yes, Barbara, the video will be available later. There will be a, the replay. So now I'm just going to push this one in. Okay. And I'm going to look again. So this is probably one of the more tedious parts because I want to make sure that I like how she's going to stand. And I do. So once you get to that point, we're ready to hot glue inside of those holes. Now I'm going to take my hot glue and I like to add about three to four squirts. One, two, three. And I'm, I'm trying to be to baby my hot glue gun because it's not wanting to squirt out very much. And then I'm going to take the body and sit it back on the legs or actually kind of maneuver them in. Now I'm going to clean up the area underneath here before my glue dries. Um, I'm not worried about her, the legs leaning right now. I just want to get everything kind of tucked in. And this is the point when you can add a little bit of hot glue up in there, but you also have the hot glue that has kind of come out a little bit while you were um, putting your legs in. That'll help you as well. So we have our body ready. Now I'm gonna set her aside and let her dry, let her legs dry, okay? Set her here. Okay, so the next thing we wanna work on is the skirt. And I know you guys are just Curious as can be on how I did this skirt. I can't believe how fun it was to put together. So, I, excuse me. So I'm going to walk you through um, the first steps of the process, and then I went ahead and pre-made most of the skirt. So I'm going to finish it off um, with you guys. 
So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take whatever garland you chose and you need a, a strip of felt, whatever matching color. So if you went with a red sock, you want to use red felt or whatever you're using to make the skirt. You want it to match that. And then it's just a thin strip. This is not, I, for measurement purposes, it's about a finger width. I think that that, that is plenty and a little more, a little less is fine too. You just need enough of an area to where the um, garland will lay on there and be able to be glued down. So the first thing that I'm going to do for this part is I'm going to apply a strip of hot glue about an inch long to give me a starting point. And then I'm going to grab my end of my material and I'm going to lay it right on it. And I'm just going to smash it on there. I hope you're using a low heated glue gun because I was I didn't have mine on low earlier and it burned the fire out of my finger. Okay, so now for you people that like measurements, I'm one of them, I'm going to show you, so this is going to be, which is hard to see, I have a bigger, let's see. So my goal here, let me get a little closer to you guys, is I want to be, I want to have about six inches. You can, once you make this one time, if you think that that's too long, it's okay. But the cool thing about if you have, if you give yourself six, six inches of length, five to six, I'd say, then if it's a little long, you can just kind of curl it and roll it. So six inches. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my finger and cause this is bendy kind of wire and I'm just going to apply this and smash it to the top where I laid that strip. And then I'm going to bend that part and go back down. So basically it's creating like these loops, if you will. And then you can also cut the loops if you prefer and just have them as strands at the end. So we're going to do that again. So down and then up and smash it onto that hot glue and then keep going. And I just use the one before it as a guide. And I do it all the way, almost to the end. I leave about a square area, like probably my thumb width, that's not got um, the material on there, the garland. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that off real quick. So this is one piece of garland. And the one down, the one mistake I'll say that I'm, I found myself making when I was doing this is you can actually give yourself a little bit more room between each um, loop at the top and one piece of garland, one, uh, one of the things that you can buy of garland will work just fine. But I put them too close together, so now I'm going to have to um, add a little bit more, just a little. And I'm going to borrow from this thing. So I'm just going to apply that little strip of hot glue and then start at the top, use that as a measurement, back up. Another thing to, to think about is, so I've got all these bats that are all over this skirt and maybe I don't want them. Well, the, the cool thing about this garland is these bats come off very, very easily. And for me, I still wanted to have some, I just didn't want quite so many. So I just pulled off a few on her and I'll probably do the same thing. How long is the black strip? Okay, so here's a cool thing. This is really cool. When you are making your um, girl, when you make the body, this works out really, really well. So one, one sheet, a nine by 11 sheet or nine by 12, I'm not exactly sure. Um, one sheet of felt turned sideways and cut straight down is perfect to go all the way around your nose. How long is it? Okay, just making sure I got everybody's questions answered. If I missed a question from you guys and you still need it answered, pop it back on there. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I have a hard time making sure sometimes that I see everybody's comments. Um, and I want to make sure you get your questions answered. So our skirt is ready, and I like to grab my girl, and her legs are done now. And I, I like to constantly be pulling her back in and using her to measure. So it works perfect. 
it looks kind of silly right now, but we're going to fix that here in just a minute. The, the next thing that I want to work on, hold on just a second, I think I might need a little more glue. Yeah, she's good. Okay, so the next thing, one of the next things I want to do, first I want to cut this excess off and get rid of that. Then I want to grab my nose. So there's several different ways. If you guys have followed me for very long, you know that I do all kinds of different ways to do noses. I do wood, I do, um, I do fabric, and um, here lately I've been doing my own polymer clay noses. So I'm going to take this nose, and for her, I want her nose to be a little higher up. But let me show you, because I think you need to see on the two finished girls. So for this girl, her nose is higher up on the sock body. For this girl, her nose is lower down on the sock body. So the, uh, here's the, um, the top of that where we just cut off. And then there's probably, I would say, almost two inches of space. So it's really just personal preference on where you apply that nose. You have to decide kind of what you like in, in the look. All right, so let me get this nose glued on. And this takes me a second because I really like to uh, look and see kind of how I want it. So I think I'm going to put it right there. And the way that I do that when I really want to hang on to where I'm at is I just kind of roll it to the side and apply a strip of hot glue. And then lay it back down. And I'm going to hold on to that for a minute because I don't want it to fall and get glue all over. Uh, Mary Robbins asked, where did you get the garland? So uh, the garland is from Dollar Tree, definitely from Dollar Tree, and they have tons and tons. This garland, see I took all the things off of her, because this garland is Christmas garland. And it had little elves all over it. So I wanted to use that, and they didn't have red in the Halloween. Okay. All right, so we got her nose on. Now we want to add the hair. And the way that I'm doing this girl, I went ahead and braided it. I'm not the prettiest braider. And I do have a video if you want to learn how to, how to braid, if you need a, 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 a tutorial on braiding. It's on YouTube. My um, Girl Gnome tutorial will show you how to braid. Just a real easy braid. But for the sake of time, I wanted to go ahead and braid for you guys. So there's a couple of ways that you can add the uh, hair. So you can add the hair behind her, or you can add the hair up under here as well. It's really going to be personal preference. I believe I did one way on one girl and uh, another way on the next girl. So I think... For this one, I'm going to add it behind and just have some security. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And to do that, I'm going to go behind it and just add a dot of hot glue to secure it in place. Oh, let me let me show you the yarn because I know some of you are going to be curious. Let me get this laid down real quick. Let me add this other part real quick too so that it's secure all the way around. So now I have these two braids that are going to meet. I'm just going to kind of flip them up and apply a strip of hot glue right here underneath. And I'm going to lay it down. And you can see I'm just kind of maneuvering the hair to do what I want it to do. Okay. I'm going to set her aside for a second. And I'm going to show you the yarn. So one of these I believe I got at Walmart, but um, I, I, I can't remember what it was. I got this one at Walmart. And then the, I went, went ahead and went to Hobby Lobby, and I found this yarn. And it is $5.99. You can use a coupon. And it is very, very, very similar in color. 
So for anybody that's really wanting that color. Where can I find, Nikki said, where can I find the hat patterns? Um, Nikki, uh, you'll, if you go to tenderfootvillage.com, you can find them there. And let's see. Okay, the hex nuts and the shoe got answered. Good deal. Thanks, ladies. I appreciate all y'all's help. All my, my villagers and my makers are helping out, and I just love it. Okay, so that's the yarn. Okay, the next thing that we want to do, I, at this point, I kind of like to take the hat and see where I'm at. I, I like to kind of get a look at what I'm, what I'm working with so far. So I, for me, I keep that, that heel part towards the back when I'm bunching it up because I want it in the front. And I'm going to put it on and look at her. And she's looking fabulous, y'all. She looks great. She's going to be so cute. Okay. So the very next thing that I want to do, I think I want to add the skirt before I add the arms and just kind of get that on there. So I probably could have done that with the, uh, before the hair as well, but I didn't. Let me see. You know what? I got a little hair tie. Let's tie your hair up for a second. Just hold it up there. There we go. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take our skirt, and you can pull off some of these now if you want to. I'm going to pull off a few, but once I get it on, oh, I'm going to pull off the thing. Hold on, just a second. Um, I'm going to pull off a few now, but I'll probably pull off more once I look at her, once uh, I pull her back and kind of examine how she looks. I definitely still want some, just not quite as many. And I'm just randomly, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I have these all over my house now. I have stepped on them. <laughs> I'll have them stuck to my foot. <laughs> it's a mess, especially barefoot. So I try to wear socks whenever I can so I don't pick them up after making it. All right. So I was trying to give that, buy, buy that some time to kind of set again. Now I'm going to sort of center this. I know that I want my pieces to meet in the back and lock basically. So I just wrapped it right around in the center and I'm going to turn it around. And I'm not going to apply hot glue to the body. I'm going to apply it directly to that and it's so kind of hard to see but I'm going to apply it directly to that little square of felt that we left and lay the, the top over it. I'm surprised none of y'all have asked me why I have why I use two two hot glue guns at a time. Because my makers and my villagers know that um, I struggle with hot glue guns. We we do not get along very well most of the time. And uh, but even then I've always got two. <laughs> one and it's it, part of it is having a backup. I, hopefully one will work, you know, if one doesn't. But the other part of it is one is a full size hot gun and one of the one is a um, precision tip so that I can get those small little areas um, a little bit better and I really really enjoy having that. Elvira says she was wondering that. I'm having no MBTs. I haven't made a gnome for a few weeks. Been busy painting pumpkins. Anne says busy painting pumpkins. Well I hope that this ignites your fire. I know that it got me really excited and I just had to make more after making this initial one. So. so right now what I'm doing is I'm going around and I'm kind of scrunching up her skirt a little bit. And I'm pulling off any that are bothering me. Okay. Now remember, we didn't secure her skirt. or I didn't secure her skirt. And I, I didn't want to. I like to be able to kind of maneuver it and move it up and down a little. And the cool thing is she kind of sits on that uh, styrofoam cone that we have underneath there. Okay, so now let me undo her hair. Actually, I think that might help me with my arms. So let me look at her real quick. No, I'm going to have to have her hair down because I don't want to get the glue mixed up in that. There we go. Okay, now let me look at it real quick. 
So one of the things that I do when I'm when I'm deciding on arms, I always hold them on at the same time, and I try to um, make them even. And then once I get them glued, I immediately will bend them up. So right now what I'm doing is seeing if I like the placement, and I absolutely do. So I'm going to hold on to those two arms, and I'm going to take my thicker hot glue, and I'm going to apply a squeeze. I'm not underneath that hair. I'm on top of it. I'm just applying a squeeze of hot glue to secure those arms in place and help me. Now, for those of you that like things really, really secure, you can take a hair tie at this point and wrap it around here if you'd like. I actually might do that, I think, on this one. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I might pull it too much. This is a new thing. I haven't done this before. I do like that. Okay, so a hair tie around the top is great. Okay. All right, so now because we've finished applying the arms, I'm going to bend them like I said. I like to go ahead and get that done. And I, again, just try to make sure that they're even or pretty even. I don't think it really matters too, too much. Now we're ready to apply the hat. Sorry, I was trying to remember if I did that first or the wings and it's the hat. Okay, so again, See if you can sear that heel to the back, no, to the front of me, behind me. <laughs> I like the heel to end up in the front. And I'm just going to kind of play with her for a minute and settle on what I like, or see what I settle on. Okay. Rolls up a little bit. Hold on just a second. So I mine rolled my sock rolled up underneath and I wanted to, to get it. I don't want it rolled up underneath. I wanted it to, to be able to use more of that material. So there she is so far, and you could probably just leave her just like this if you wanted to, but I'm not. I'm gonna add fat wings and fat ears. Okay, so the first thing I think think I want to do is the ears. And now I have to look at her and see where I like the placement. So for me, I like a little bit of space. I don't want to, I personally, I, I, it's totally up to you. Um, I don't want mine right up together. So I'm going to put a little bit of space between. And as you can see, the hat, it's the uh, sock itself has created kind of a fold. And I'm going to move it up closer so you can see that a little better. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. And so I'm going to grab my hot glue. I'm going to leave those ears just like they are. I'm going to grab my hot glue. And I'm just going to apply a line right back at the very edge behind that against the very bottom of that ear. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. guys that know me know I'm all about using guides and helpers and um, what do you call them, the clothespins and everything. So there's her ears. And we haven't glued the hat down or anything like that, so if we want to move it around a little bit, we can, but we don't want to do that until the um, until she ha the glue has set. Let me get all these hot glue webs out of the way. Okay. So now we're ready for our bat wings. And there's, for me, this is important. Um, I like to remember where they were glued onto the headband. So when they were on the headband, this area was down. And you can see, because you can tell a difference because it has a little bit of black still left on it. So that helps me. You're not gonna see it because she's she's got a black body, it's not a problem. If you did, if you were bothered by the black, then you can use your hair dryer or a heat gun and this will come right off and then you'll just have that clean edge just like the rest of it. Just wondering why the 
heel on the front. It's just personal preference. So with the heel, some, um, let me see who asked me that. Okay, so Elvira asked me why the heel on the front. So for me, I know that there's a knot here naturally from that other sock. And so I'm using, again, that heel to my advantage to sit on that knot. And it, to me, it makes a more natural looking hat, if that makes sense. I mean, I, I, at least that's what I tell myself. I think it does. Um, but it just, it seems to work really well. Okay, so now I'm going to tip her hat up. And you can see with this girl, I glued them and then the hat just covers up that little seam. And, and it's not ugly or anything like that. It's still very pretty, but I like that the hat hangs down. So that's what I'm going for here. And I just kind of need to eyeball it and look. And this is going to get glued right on the bottom half of that hat. So now is a good time to glue the, um, the, hat, the sock to the body before you glue your wings on. So that's what I'm going to do right this second. Okay, Michelle asked if I made the ears and wings, and no, I, I, and someone said I got them at Dollar Tree. That is correct. I got them at Dollar Tree. Okay, again, I'm just remembering where those black edges are to have, help me use, I'm using it as a guide. And then I'm just trying to see if I like the placement, how close together I want them to be on the back, and seeing how they look on the front at the same time. So once I get them where I like them, same thing, hold them in place, grab my glue, apply just a little. Oh, it's a little bit harder showing what I'm doing. So now I'm just I'm at the very, very edge of the material and I'm applying hot glue to that and gonna lay it down. So let me see if I can actually show you that on this side. So I'm going to slip this up underneath here and apply a strip of glue and hold it down. And I didn't see that. Y'all did. So I don't know if I got enough glue on there. I'll find out in just a second. I did. Okay. All right. So once that's on there, I'm going to take my hat and pull it down. You do not have to glue it down unless you want to. I think it looks kind of cute just hanging. Now I'm just playing with her a little bit more, making sure I like everything. Get that piece off. And there's our girl, guys. She's so cute. So some things that you could do to add little pops. You could add some little bugs or spiders um, if you wanted to. Dollar Tree has these really cute little um, sequiny spiders or jeweled spiders. You could add some little flair to the shoes if you'd like. You could add some little bows to the back of her shoes. But really, guys, she's finished. If you want to add some bows to her hair or something like that or pull off some more of these, that's really it. Um, I, I'm just, I'm tickled at how well they come together this way, and I love this new twist on an old gnome. If you are interested, head over to uh, Tenderfoot Village. I have a um, membership group that uh, it's $20 a month, and we do all kinds of fun stuff in there. There are giveaways. Um, I do a monthly giveaway. We, I do that as well in the Tenderfoot Villagers group, so... If you're interested in the membership, it's called the TFB Makers Club. If you're interested in the, um, the Villagers group, it's Tenderfoot Villagers. It's free to join that group. And we do lots of fun stuff in there, and it's a really loving and encouraging environment. So, y'all have a wonderful night. I'm so glad that you could join me in this craft. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you'd like to see next, if you want. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.